Welcome back to the job site, which is actually my house. I just signed the paperwork on this house a couple hours ago, and it's time to get to work. And they actually let me sign the paperwork with this big pencil. I signed the paperwork with this big carpenter's pencil. No, not really, they didn't let me, but that would be cool if they did let me. That would have been cool to actually sign it with this big thing, because this pencil actually writes. So you can see right here. It has a graphite tip, and this was sent to me from Matt Jackson at Next Level Carpentry. He makes these pencils. I told him, hey, I'll pay you to, to make me a pencil. And he made the pencil, sent it to me, and said it was a gift. If you wanna see how he made this big pencil, I'll put a link at the top of the description below, but it's pretty cool. It's hollow on the inside where he puts the, um, this is the graphite piece right here. I believe that's what it's called. That piece right there. And then in the back, I'll get this piece to come out. I think this is a piece of ebony. Because you can see in the back there, it shows the lead as well. So this is what is in the, the tip. And then on the inside, it's a piece that says, Richard, all the best in family life work. Matt Jackson, Next Level Carpentry, January 15th, 2019. So, where have I been? Um, basically just working, trying to get this house, trying to get the money to get this house. And it's been one thing after another. Hey, you wanna be on the video? Look, look right there. Here, hold, take that pencil and uh, Take it to the other room over there, okay? Okay. <laughs> so that's what I've been doing. I've been working hard trying to get this house and we had to get a new roof um, inspection, all that kind of stuff. And now I'm here and I mentioned in the last video that I would be taking, showing you guys this upstairs area and taking the trim out because it's a really bad DIY <laughs> job. <laughs> What are you doing? It's a, it's, it's just, I have nothing against DIY, but like there's stuff I'm not even going to do in this house that I'm going to hire out. So anyways, um, let me show you some close-ups of this trim and then we will start taking it out. So I'll show you the kind of layout of this room. All right. So here's the room. I'm going to pretty much make my little office and I think we'll start here. Uh, it's a second story room. You can see our vehicles there and uh, two windows here. But whoever did this room before me, as far as like trim work, they really uh, didn't pay much attention to detail. Like every joint pretty much has just kind of like nail filler, like smudged all over it. Um, some of them are pretty bad. I'll try to get you some up close shots. On it and this isn't to say like oh you know this is this person sucks or whatever but this is to point out just that it's not this stuff is not hard but it can be done very wrong like that one right there is pretty bad especially from like a side view so anybody can do this anybody can do this kind of work it's not like it's some rocket science or something but when it's done wrong, you really, you have to live with it. And I don't want to live with this stuff any longer. This built in right here that whoever built this and this, I have actually been using as a little kind of off. This is where I run my business off this pink desk and this kind of stump chair right there. It's pretty crazy talking about it right now because I don't really think about it, but just like the cut in line on the paint is just, crazy i mean the the brush strokes right here it's just obviously whoever did this wasn't a craftsman and i'm not trying to like just trash them you know i don't want to come off as that because i'm not but this is just showing you things can be done very wrong these joints right here they just look pretty crazy and i can try to get my camera to focus and all those brush strokes it just looks like tree bark it's just crazy nothing smooth about it just this kind of caulking hanging off the edge right here. And, you know, you would say, well, you know, of course, you know, this was a DIY, this wasn't a builder that did it. And 
I agree. <laughs> so that's why I'm kind of saying like, don't just because you can are capable of something doesn't mean necessarily you should attempt it unless you're hundred percent confident in it. All right. And the last thing I'm going to talk about before I start taking this stuff out is this transition down here where this vertical style meets this baseboard and it's just a back cut, very hard transition, not easy on the eye at all and looks like a complete afterthought because that's what it is. And anytime you add new trim, you're always gonna come into this situation where you're gonna be asking yourself, should I rip this trim out to make this trim look better? And if you're in doubt, rip it out. Because if they would have ripped this out, this baseboard, and replaced it with one of these top rails and turn, made that into the bottom rail, that would have been 10 times better than this back cut 45 at the bottom. So that's the last thing. I know it sounds, it sounds like I'm being such a jerk. I hope it doesn't, I hope I'm not coming off like that, but this is what's been on my mind. So I wanted to share it with you. So my main tools for removal are going to be a mini sledge Zenith trim puller. This is a great tool. It's not gonna damage the drywall, which usually happens with a pry bar like this. If you get this in behind trim, in between trim and drywall, what'll happen a lot of times is you'll just punch the drywall and be very frustrated with yourself. So we tried not to use this unless something is being very stubborn. And then a little pry bar like this. So really these three tools this one being a key Zenith trim puller. This is a game changer for removal and I'll put a link in the description for this. This thing is the best for trim removal. That's what it's made for. It has this kind of bent out uh, piece of the metal that kind of does the prying for you. And I'll probably do a separate video just on this. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay, this guy did not use a single nail in this board. If that's the case, this is going to be stupid easy. Okay, he used two nails. He used two tiny nails. Let me show you this. So there's a one nail right there. And it's mostly adhesive and not really even a whole lot. Just kind of a... I don't know. He didn't really put a whole lot. And then one more nail. So this... This should be pretty easy. Hopefully they're all like this. Uh, a lot of the caulking came out with the texture and that's not bad at all. So I'll go through and clean this stuff up and I can easily repair that. I've had people tell me I overkill it with my adhesive in some videos, but that was like nothing. That was like, barely even a bead. It looks like liquid nails. All right. Watch out for these boards over here, okay? Did you want to take our house down? Why am I taking our house down? Yeah. I'm not. I'm taking the trim off. Where are you? Where are you, Daddy? Because I don't really like it that much. I want to do it better. Sorry. One minute he doesn't want to take it off and then I tell him he can use his little plastic hammer and now he's a helper. Yeah, that one. No, this is. Okay, you can use that one. That one's actually probably safer. Stay away from those boards, okay? You always hit me, Daddy. Good. Toughen you up. Keep going. Whoa. 
This guy used some like hammer nails. Hammer nails. These are thick nails, guys. Why are you just hammering stuff? What the? The thing really just came off like nothing. I hit it one time. <laughs> that was crazy. This video is very deceiving because it's not that easy to take this stuff off usually. I'm gonna see if I can get a one hit wonder with this. So we're making some progress. Got these guys doing some work for me. Look, look how dedicated this worker is. Look at that. So I gotta take all of this whole little built-in thing out now. And I'm going, going ahead and take the base out too. And I'll probably just go ahead and take yeah. these two doors out too. And when next time I go get some materials, I'll probably just order these two doors for now. All right, here's a lesson to be learned. See this adhesive, how it was put on there, like they didn't have a purpose. It didn't touch the wall. This piece is hanging there and it used to be right there and there's no sign of it on the wall. When in doubt, use more and let it compress onto the two materials that you're bonding. Obviously, too much can be used, but that's definitely not enough. All right, that took me about an hour. And now we have a big pile of trash that I got to go. I'm going to go out and put this on the side of the house. I've got a place out there that's kind of hidden. And I'll probably just call someone to come pick it up like one of those junk removal people. But that's pretty much it. I took the base off. I took the wainscot off. I'm going to take that base off over there. I'm just going to throw this pile out first. But now comes for the fun part, throwing the stuff out the window. So I'm not going to walk down the stairs with this. I'm just going to throw it out down there and then walk it on this side of the house over here. I'm not worried about the carpet. Cause I'm gonna go back with a five inch number three white oak. It's got a lot of knots in it. It looks pretty rough and rustic, but we like that down here in Texas. So I'm gonna take this screen off and just kind of throw my junk out right there. The fun part. But other than that, my kind of idea on this thing is that I'm just gonna kind of film this thing in episodes so yeah, now would be the time to let me know if you want to see how I do whatever, then I, this is my house. I'm not on a schedule, so to speak. Basically, I don't have customers breathing down my neck wanting me to get done. Just a wife doing that. So now we get to throw this stuff out the window. Let's do it. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next episode when I'm doing something else in that room up there, decking it out, hopefully. So I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.